want you to know that the excitement is real for our next guest. She is one of the most talented and hardest working actress, actors, actresses in Hollywood. She's an Oscar winner, Golden Globe winner, and now she has the Best Actress Emmy nomination. She does it all. And she has a new movie called Home Again. Please welcome Reese Witherspoon. New place. Yeah. Everybody's here. Yeah. It's like we're all having breakfast. Yep. But you know, Lots of lights and cameras. We're, we're so yeah. excited to have you here because you know you're so talented, but you're also one of the sweetest, sweetest people we know. Mm -hmm. You, you really are. Mm -hmm. And and you have a new movie coming out, Home Again, an Emmy-nominated TV series. Whew. You're part of more than 20 projects. I, I, you're the cover of Glamour magazine. You're <laughs> ambitious. You wrote, a, you wrote an essay in Glamour magazine about ambition. And I have a Which question for you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. It, really thanks. You, you wrote a letter to young women. So if a young woman is feeling amb her amb ambition is being stifled, mm -hmm. how, how do you address that? What would you tell her? Well, I, I was I, a couple years ago, I wrote this um, speech for Glamour Woman of the Year about why ambition in women is considered a dirty word. and. And we do kind of think, they've done all these studies at Harvard and Columbia about women who have ambitious qualities are seen as selfish or self-serving. And it's actually completely opposite. Usually they have a mission or a drive to help other people or get accomplish you something. You in the tone in people's voice. Yep. When they apply ambition to a woman, it's different yep. mm -hmm. yeah, than when you apply she, it to a man. She's out to get for herself. Yeah. Or, so I'm just trying to sort of take the stigma off the word so that we encourage more little girls to be ambitious. Because I do think that's how society works. Awesome. For you, have you always been ambitious or did you grow into your ambition? Oh, Michael. <laughs> I mean, I remember in third grade, I told them, they went around the room and said, What do you want to be when you grow up? And this one wanted to be a doctor, that one wanted to be an astronaut. I said, I want to be the first female president of the United States of America. <laughs> and ambition. I didn't blink. And you know what? My, uh, to my teacher's credit, her name was Mrs. Vister, and she goes, I'm going to vote for you, Reese. Oh, that's right. And so I that thought. That wasn't just election. Wasn't that sweet? Yeah. No, <laughs> it sounded like Tracy Flake, but that was just the delivery, George. Um, it was a character I played. I'm not going to like that at all. <laughs> Uh, speaking of little girls, your little girl's almost 18. I know. My I see daughter's going to be 18 so on Saturday. I know. I'm going to Any cry. special plans? Don't make me call you, Lara. <laughs> um, we're just going to go out to dinner. She just wants to be really quiet, but I, um, I have a special something that I'm going to give her, but I'm really excited. I wrote a letter to her that I'm really excited. Excited. Oh, I love that. It's yeah. a great Sweet. gift. It's, it, it's incredible to think back about all that time and the things that they've learned and who they become. And Did you cry when you were writing it? Because oh. I'm going to cry oh. listening oh, to no, you. No. I, I was like a messy, sobbing <laughs> heap of, like, puddle of snot. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I have a picture. <laughs> yeah. Is that, yeah. Still got two boys at home? I have, yeah. How did back to school go? Yeah, back to school is great. They're, they're back. It's like every mom's favorite time of the year. <laughs> back to school. Oh, yeah, that's Deacon in Tennessee. So cute. And uh, Deacon's turning 14, and Tennessee's going to be five this month. Wow. It goes fast. It wow. just goes so fast. But, you know, you posted this throwback picture, and we're wondering if your kids inherited your sense of fashion. Uh -oh. This is from the, the 80s. Oh, yeah. There you go. Your daughter looks just Oh, yeah. Those, are my, those are my jams. <laughs> <laughs> That's you how the Draper James thing started right there. That style. I mean, I knew everybody needed a little bit of that. The way I hike them up really high. <laughs> no, I don't want to say anything. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Can we talk about Home Again? I had a chance to watch it last night. Me it too. is such a sweet movie. I cried, oh, I laughed, the, the whole bit. So I want to play a little bit of it. We, yeah. we want to set it up a little bit because you play a young mom of two, um, separated, thinking about a divorce, mm -hmm. and you start, you kind of hook up a little bit with a youngin. Yeah. Is, is, that pretty, is, that, is that safe to say? Well, you know, my character is um, separated and she's got yeah. two little kids. She doesn't know what she's going to do with her life. She has to move back home. She feels really untethered. And I think a lot of people have gone through that thing Amen. where they made a decision when they were 25 and they turned 40 and that's not the decision that works for their life anymore. Mm -hmm. So um, she starts a romance with someone and then her ex-husband comes back <laughs> and then she's confused and it's really about a woman finding what the next chapter it's in her really, life is going to be. That's what it's really about and here it is, Home Again. 
Hey, Alice? Yeah? Do you have a minute? Sure. Could we just maybe exchange phone numbers or... Oh, Harry, I'm, I'm very late. Listen, I think you woke up to a completely different person than you met last night. And I appreciate the gesture. I really do. But how old are you? Like, 30? 29? Something like that. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so well about it, Reese, because, you know, on the surface, you'd say, oh, a romantic comedy. No, it's so much more than that. Yeah, I think it's a modern comedy. You know, it's a woman who's defining her own life, and, you know, it, it has a little bit to do with romantic relationship, but that's mm. not the, the, the thing you end up with in the movie. It's about her becoming the hero of her own story. Like, too, the, 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 old, the older woman... <laughs> The, flip, had the, the little flip on yeah, the Yeah, you know, how many times do we see older guys and younger women in yeah. movies? And we, I've never really seen George, them. I just got a side eye over there. What is that about? <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to sleep and say nothing. <laughs> 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 so you're going to be dipping into our world as well. You and Jen Anderson have a new project. Yes, we have a new TV show we're working on about morning news. We trust you. Notable personalities as inspiration. No, I don't look like anybody on television, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I have anyone else's personality. Not, not ambitious at all. Either. I'm not ambitious. No, no, no. No, yeah. very, no very it'll perfect. be interesting, and it's. Um, you know, it just talks about modern life, and it's me and Jen, and we've yeah, yeah. worked together oh, yeah. before on Friends, and we finally found this project that we could do together. We're so excited. Well, there's that, and then we can't let you go without Big Little Lies. Oh, yeah. I, I can't thank you enough. I did not want it to end. And, uh -huh. and so it's not ending? Well, I mean, we're talking about it. We had so much fun, and it, literally this group of women Please. are my closest friends, and we're thinking about it. We're talking about it. Well, now we, there was only one book, and it ended where the show <laughs> ends. Let's get to it. I know. Let's get to it. I know. Else going on. We got to get the writer to write another book. <laughs> I know. But, so. it, but it is a real possibility, because this, there's, I feel like you, you can mine these women, these characters, for so much more. Yeah, I think mm. it's incredible. People just loved it. We had no idea people were going to be so excited about it. So thank you, everybody who watched. Oh, my God. Yeah. A wrinkle in time that yeah, you have going on. Time. Yeah, I, have, I did this movie with Oprah and Mindy Kaling that Ava DuVernay oh directed, and that's coming on March. That's really I exciting. I can't wait for that. I know, that's my girl Oprah, my girl Mindy. <laughs> that's oh, fun. And Oprah makes killer margaritas, right? Uh, that's what we hear. Yeah. What's She's, the secret? Yeah, it's the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> she gets really, really special tequila. I don't know where she gets it. It's one of Oprah's favorite things. Oh, hey, hey, Robin, why don't you find out? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. And you know, the movie Home Again, it hits theaters tomorrow. And we've got more Reese just <laughs> coming up ahead, also with your co stars and the oh. director <laughs> of the movie. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.